Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Gore Hamian here with Misfit Studios as always, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to convert um, any of the document or file that you're using in Inkscape into an SVG. All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of this page border and our document properties. And let's just go ahead and bring in an image. I'm going to go ahead and bring in our template for when we made our custom fonts with Inkscape. I'll put a link down in the description below on how we did that. So let's go ahead and it's really fairly simple when you're doing this. Now, um, let's go ahead and make sure that this is selected. We're going to go up to file. We're then going to save as. Put it into the file location that you want it in. So the nice thing about Inkscape is its default setting is going to be SVG file format. Okay, there is a huge list of different formats that you can save a lot of these in. If you're going to be using um, a vinyl cutter or maybe CNC or something of that effect, you're going to want to mul multiple layers um, or multiple objects. An SVG file is going to be what you want. Let's go ahead and click save on that. Now, um, for instance, if you've got something that you were wanting to cut out with a vinyl cutter, or maybe you're using it a different program that you want to convert into the SVG and you don't have another way of doing that, then Inkscape is going to be your best friend. Now, let's say we've got this image here and we actually want to make this into two separate images, one on each individual layer. So what we can do is we can actually bring up the layers, um, layers panel. And if you don't have these over here on the right side, the layers button is right there. Make sure that the image is selected, right click, and we're just gonna go ahead and click copy. That way we've got it on our clipboard. Um, we're gonna go ahead and add in a new layer. We're just gonna have it say layer two, and you can actually have this to be above or below current. You can always drag and drop these wherever you want those. So we are now on layer two. We're gonna go ahead and right click and paste. And if we have this selected, we're on layer two. If we have this selected, we're going to be on layer one. Now, the exact same thing goes for objects. Um, so if we have multiple layers, we're going to go ahead and add in another one, layer three. And we're going to go grab one of our tools and create an object. So this circle here is going to be on layer three. This circle or this image on the right is going to be on layer two. And this image on the left is going to be on layer one. Now, if we go ahead and let's go ahead and shift click. So we've got both of these two objects. Um, and we're just going to align those right on top of one another. And we're going to bring this circle over just like that. Now, if we highlight all of these, go to File, Save As. And we can save this as an SVG, an Inkscape SVG or a plain SVG. We can go ahead and click Plain SVG. And File Name Drawing to SVG already exists. We're going to go ahead and replace that. So now that we've got that saved, we can actually pull up our files or wherever our file location is. All right, so we've got a, our file location here. We can actually go ahead and open with. We're going to use Inkscape. Or you can double click it too. It does the exact same thing. And we've got another version of Inkscape. Zoom out. We can click and we now have multiple, multiple layers that we can use with. The exact same goes for any of the programs that you're going to be. I don't want to say any of the programs, but most of the programs you're going to be using um, like if it's a sewing machine program with a uh, brother or, you know, maybe it's a um, one of the vinyl cutter machines. If you export this as a PNG, it's all going to be one image. There won't be any layers. So let's go ahead and click export PNG. Everything is highlighted. We've got the selection tab selected because we are going to be exporting everything in the selection. Export as and we're just going to click and make this text one. Save. And then we want to export that. And, then and that's all there is to it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios, as always. And again, please hit that subscribe button. It helps us tremendously here at Misfit Studios. We will see you guys next time.